Here we go. Record. Hi, Michael and Aaron. Thanks for joining us. It looks like Rory isn't going to be with us today, but we're going to tape this so Rory, you can watch it whenever you want. Okay, we miss you today. Okay, Aaron and Michael and Rory, when you're watching this, I need you to get your rhyming dreams paper. And a pencil. So Rory, if you have to pause this to go get that, go ahead. Get your paper and your pencil. Okay, today we're learning about a man named Joseph who had a lot of dreams. And Michael, can you read the four words across the top? Down here, I said across the top, but in the middle, starting with sun. Uh, yeah. Michael. These four words across here. Don't look down below where there's letters missing across here. Aaron, why don't you do that? Oh, okay, sun, first. moon, stars, rain. Okay. Yep. So Joseph had a dream about all four of those words, which we'll learn when we hear the Bible story today, okay? But anyway, so... So if you see, there's 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 wor partial words underneath sun. There's like a blank UN, blank UN, and blank UN. You have to look at the letters up in the cloud, okay? What letter could go in front of those to match your rhyming word to go with sun? And when it comes to moon, you'll do the same thing. What letters can go in front of O-O-N to rhyme with moon? So can you do that now? Question, can we reuse words or can you only use them once? Just use them once. So when you use the letters up above, cross it off so you know you won't use those again, okay? That's what I was doing. Okay, very good. Michael. And if you see, there's like there's two R's. So there's going to be an R that goes in front of two words, but you, you just cross off. And it'll help you when you get to moon. You see there's blanks in front of the O-O-N. That'll show you how many letters you have to find together. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, but okay. there's only one three words. For sun, there's only one letter. So you have to look for the one letter alone. <coughs> like, let's start. I, it looks like you're having some trouble, Michael. Oh, no. Are you doing it, honey? No, I'm doing the star one. Okay, okay. Should I do room now? You do it how, whenever you're ready. Go do each mm -hmm. one if you want. One of the words is a country. I already found that. <laughs> Which one? Spain. Very good. Okay. You were able to figure that because you were using another part of your body. Yeah, I don't have one of those. <laughs> I don't have a BR. Oh, right. Uh, Let's push it, push the computer back a little bit so you have more space. There you go. Perfect. How are you guys doing? Good.
Is this like school work? Huh? Oh, good. Are you done? Okay. Whoa, very good. Are you still working there? And how are you? Still working. Four letter things are left. Hmm? How many four letter things are that left? Okay, write it in. Because you know that's just going to be cheating. Okay, well, that's good. You're being honest. How are you making out, Rory? Are you able to figure them out? Knock it off. What? Knock it off. You. Oh, this one? Mm -hmm. I just try to use your. Thank you for trying to call me. <laughs> and the last one. When you get down to the end, you should only You're do done, aren't left. you? Yeah. Okay, Michael, come on. Let's go ahead and read these. Okay, Mike, Aaron, why don't you take sun? Joseph dreamt about the sun. What words did you come up <laughs> with that rhyme with sun? Run, run, run. Can you say them clearer? Run, run, run. run. Fun. Okay, what about you, Michael? Read the what ones for moon. Run, fun, and bun. Bun. Oh, bun. Okay. I what messed you... up on moon. It's okay. What do you got? Okay, do you have run, fun, and bun? Yeah. Okay, Michael, do you want to do moon even though you messed up the one? Cocoon. Cocoon. And why don't you fix it? No. Balloon. 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 Okay. And what's the last one? Balloon. That was it. Balloon. Okay, Aaron, do the next no, one. Wait. I missed the one. Oh, oh, Cocoon, yeah. raccoon, and balloon. Okay, Aaron, do you want to do star? Sure. Jar, car, guitar. Jar, car, oh gosh. Jar, car, guitar. Correct. Okay, and Michael? Mikey? Rain, rain, spain. Very good. Rain, Brain, Spain. Very good, guys. So today, like I said, we're learning the story about Joseph. I'm going to ask, I'm going to give you guys a survey. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions and you raise your hand if this applies to you. Okay. So sit where you're on the screen. I found it. Raise your hand. If you have ever had a family member who frustrates you from time to Aaron. time, yep. just raise your hand. Okay, both. Yes. I think even I have a brother or sister that irritates me sometimes. Yeah, frustrates me. Okay, don't. Hey guys. Okay, put your hand down. Next question. Raise your hand if you have ever gotten in a fight with a brother, sister, or cousin. Dad, we all know you did. Okay, and the last question. Raise your hand if you have ever taken, if you've ever, now wait, <sighs> taken that sometimes annoying relative, somebody that annoys you, and have you ever thrown them in a pit and faked his death and sold him for slavery. What? You ever done that? No. No. No, no, no one? No. No, You've that's never done that, that that's a bit that that's not typical, is it? No. But the story we're going to hear about today, that is somebody that you did do. that. Okay? No. So we're going to have you just <laughs> sit and listen and dad and I okay. are going, and or we're going to read it. We're going to read, read it and listen, it. okay? But listen because You'll, it's an interesting story, and then we'll ask you some questions when we're done, okay? Okay, I will start. Now his brothers had gone to graze their father's flocks near Shechem, and 
uh, what's the father's name? Jacob. Jacob said to Joseph, as you know, your brothers are grazing the flocks near Shechem. Come, I'm going to send you to them. Very well, he replied. Now, oh, wait a second. Starting... I was supposed to start at what? It's no, it's it's verse thirty-eight, number one. Thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. You're wrong. Thirty-second. Dad. No, honey, you're wrong. Yeah, it is. Joseph is sold by his brothers. No, no, wait. Now wait. wait. We forgot the that? scripture lesson here. We're all over the place. Wait, where do you see that? Actually, I'm going to ask you a question, Mike. While I'm looking for this, what's the name of the book we're in? Where can you find that? Right at the, the top of the, of the page. Of the book. No, no, the Bible's the book. You're right. But remember, this the Bible is like a library, and each of the books are, each of the like. chapters are a book. So look at the top of your page, and what's the name of the book we're in? I just say it. Yeah, go ahead. Genesis. Genesis, correct, and we're su supposed to be G Genesis 37, 1 to 28. 1 to 28, oh my gosh. Yes, I'm all wrong. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start over Jacob again. lived in the land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob. Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks with his brothers, the sons of Bilal and the sons of Zippah his father's wives, and he brought their father a bad report about them. Now Israel loved Jacob more than any of the other sons. No. Now, Jacob. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he had been born to him in his old age, and he made him a richly ornamented robe for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word about him. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brother, when dad or andrew was reading they said a richly ornamented robe that the father had bought him a richly ornamented robe. do you know what that means it's a really really nice jacket that looks like really super it's blingy very and cool. decorated and and isn't just like a plain thing look at your next page do you see the page with the life in bible times mm-hmm do you see that I man? Yeah, they're basically the same. Here. See the man? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, this yeah, one yeah. isn't yeah, black and white. Hands. This one isn't black and white. Is yours yeah. in color? She, yeah. He's got the color one. They've got the black. Or we've got the black one. Okay, that's the robe that, that Jacob made for Joseph. See how, how fancy it is? Another word for ornament, ornamented is fancy. Well, see how fancy his, his, his robe is? And it had many colors. You you and I can't see that, Michael, because we've got black and white. Can you no, show? I can see. Of many colors and bring that next week to Sunday School and share it because we're going to learn more about Joseph next week. But I want to see how many different pictures of Joseph in his coat we can get, okay? Okay. Can you do that, Aaron? Can you find a picture of Joseph in the many colors? In the next week. Mm -hmm. In the next week on the computer. Yeah, we'll do that next week. We can okay. do that later, okay? Okay, we'll continue with the story. He's, so... He's telling them about this dream he had where the grain bowed down, where the grain was his brothers bowing down to him. And so there's that word grain that we already met, rhymed, remember? Is Michael coming out? Michael, are you coming out or not? I'm just saying, Grace. His brothers said to him, 
Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said. Then he had another dream and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said, I had another dream. And this time the sun, the moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. When he told his father as well as his brothers, his fathers rebuked him and said, what is this dream you had? Will you, your mother and I, and your brothers actually come and bow down to you, the ground before you? His brothers were jealous of him, and his father kept his mother, and his father kept the matter in mind. Now his brothers had gone to graze their father's flocks near Shechem, and Jacob said to Joseph, as you know, your brothers are grazing the flocks near Shechem. Come, I am going to send you to them. Very well, he replied. So he said to them, to him, go and see if all is well with your brothers and with the flocks and bring back word to me. Then he sent off from the valley of Hen Hebron. From the valley of Hebron. Okay. <clears throat> now, when Joseph arrived at Shechem, a man found him wandering in the fields and asked him, what are you looking for? He replied, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they're grazing their flocks? They have moved on from here, the man answered. I heard them say, let's go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dothan. But when they saw him in the distance and before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. That sounds like a nice brotherly thing. Here comes that dreamer, they said to each other. Come now, let's kill him and throw him in one of the cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him, and then we'll see what comes of his dreams. They went, the, when Reuben heard this, he tried to rescue him from their hands. Let's not take his life. He said, don't shed. He said, don't shed. Don't shed any blood. Throw him into this cistern here, cistern here in the desert, but don't lay a hand on him, Reuben said, is to rescue him from them and take him back to his father. So when Joseph came back to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the richly ornamented robe he was wearing, and they took him and threw him into the cistern. Now the cistern was empty. There was no water in it. As they sat down to eat their meal, they looked up and saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead. Their camels were loaded with spices, balm, and myrrh, and they were on their way to take them down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, what will we gain if we kill our brother and cover up his blood? Come, let's sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him. After all, he is our brother our own flesh and blood. His brothers agreed. Check on them. They stripped him of his fancy robe and threw him in a Joseph after hearing that story. Mike, you should know this as the youngest youngest boy who gets gets all of the credit in the world, don't you think? You think that you get things easily sometimes, and people give you credit even though you might be the great on people's terms. Do you like Joseph? Do you think he was a good guy? I do. Aaron thinks he was. What do you think? Michael thinks he was. What do you think of his brothers? Just wait, Mike. What do you think of the brothers? Mean. They have to have been really pretty jealous if they if they would do something like that. 
I mean, geez, they thought the first thing they wanted to do was kill him. And how would you have handled a brother if he told you he had dreams like that? No, no? No. Would that upset you? I think it would. Okay. I don't get what you mean by that. Well, would it upset you? It's, what, if, what if Aaron started having dreams that he dreamt that uh, he was the down. Almighty and you were bowing down to him? Would that upset you? Well, that's good. That's good if it didn't re doesn't really. Mm -hmm. Ashi, there will be anything she said to me. Okay. Well, what I want you to do now, you okay. should have a... Uh, Go uh, ahead. Loose. What, hon? This goes back. We, there should be a leaflet in your thing. Okay. Can I see it for a minute, Aaron? Because I don't have mine. Green? Yeah. Yes, it's your leaflet. And in the front, it says Joseph and his brothers. And it gives you some examples. And it, this is called the Joseph factor. So Rory, if you're watching, you get that paper also, okay? Families don't always get along. Joseph and his brothers did some bad things to each other. Now here's a, here they're gonna give you an example. And you're gonna mark on the scale one to 10, how likely are you to do or say the same thing as the brothers did, okay? So Aaron, read the first yeah. one. Read the first one, right there. Tell them remember the dreams you had. Was it bad on you? Would you tell your family members uh, about okay. that? Can, can, he do, can, can you repeat that, Andrew, so it's clear? Okay. Very good, though. Andrew. Tell family members about dreams you have where they bow down to you. So one would mean you would never do that, Aaron, and 10 would mean you most definitely would. Where? And, and then, do you understand how that goes? Mm -hmm. How likely would you be to tell your brothers you had a dream and they're supposed to bow down to you? If you would hardly ever do that, say circle one. If you would definitely do it, circle 10. If it's kind of in the middle, circle four or five. Can you read the other examples and okay. circle your answer? You want to read the next one or you want me to read it? Which I'm the next one. Right there. Wanna, why don't you read it in? Okay. Dream of sending you. Oh, just let me do this. Okay, go ahead. Dream of sending your sibling to another country far, far away. You think you would dream of doing? We're doing we're doing this page right here. How about putting your ball down? And we're doing a scale down. of one to ten. How That's likely is it that ball. you would do one of these things? Okay, we'll do it. So look at the one that's blue. And can you read that, Michael? Uh, tell everyone that you're the favorite kid. How okay. likely is that? Would you do that? Would you one you being, do... you'd never do that. One, you'd be doing it all the time. Ten. You said you... one twice. Yeah, he. Oh, did. I'm sorry. One, One meaning you never do it. Ten, do meaning it. you do it all the time. <laughs> um, like you, a two. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Circle, we'll two, circle it. What about you, Aaron? Are you going to tell anybody that you're the favorite kid? Lexi says that all the time. Yeah. She's dad's favorite, but she doesn't really mean it. She says that to be funny. Okay, read the purple one, Mike. Uh, fake a family member's death and throw him slash her into a pit. How likely is it that you would do that? Zero. What about you, Aaron? Very good, Michael. That's very good. <laughs> okay, what about, okay, read the orange one, Aaron. Show off a special outfit someone bought you. How likely are you to do that? Kind of wow. like Joseph showed off his his decorated robe. Would you show off an outfit somebody like got Pokemon you? Shirt. 
that chat was a gift. <laughs> that chat was a gift. And how often do you show it off? I show it off all the time. You see? See, so it's something natural that you you like it and you're proud of it. So you want to show it. But what happens if someone's jealous? You think I get jealous of Done. your Pokemon shirt and want to take Done. it from you? Done. Done. Probably do. Done. Done. Never. Done. <laughs> now you want to take it from me. Okay, you did all Done. of them? Yes. So what were you, what were your answers? Two, one, five, zero, zero. What was your five? Uh, um, sh show something off. Okay, show off a new outfit. What mm -hmm. about you, Aaron? One, 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 two, ten. Your ten was show off an outfit. Yeah. Okay, but it's good that your answer is about no, faking your brother's chill. death and throwing him in a pit and sending him off. Those were low numbers, right? Yeah, that's good. Because even though our brothers get us upset or your sisters get us upset, we don't want harm to come to them. And what it shows in this story is that even though, even though they had done that, Remember that God was with them that whole time, okay? He was with them with Joseph. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to play a little game. Get up your decks of cards. Sorry, Rory, you won't have anyone to play with you. So, unless, um, so I guess you won't be able to participate in this, but you can watch how it goes, okay? okay. So Give get me your out decks your deck of, cards. of cards. You have to put them here. Hand yep. them all to me. Just my put them together. That's what I'm doing. No, we're putting them with. No, we're putting them with. Oh, Michael, I need them. To so go Aaron here. and Michael are going to put their two decks of cards together. And what you have to do, you're each going to pull five cards. Okay. Bless you. I just put these back in the folder. Go for it. Okay, Mike, can I have your cards? Can you show them from here? Don't, Michael, because I'm going to mix them all together. Oh, I see it. Do we add up the cards? Yes. And see whoever has the highest number. No, right? what you're going to do, there's a ah. game. you got to listen to how the game is played. Okay. All right, no. Huh? No, you don't. So, what you have to do, who's going to reach 12 first? You or Aaron? Michael or Aaron? So, you take, don't show each other what, what cards you have. You're going to put a card down and announce what the card is. Okay, so my, now, a, jo a picture of Joseph is a bone, is a wild card. You can use that for anything. If you have, okay. if you're the first one to lay your cards down and you have a Joseph, you can make it a 12 and you won right, you won right away. Okay, pick up, pick up your other card. Well, okay. Now, do you know why we, do you know why you have to add up to 12? What's the What was the magic number in, in the Sunday school lesson about 12? What, was, um, what were the 12 of? Sheep. No, no, it was the 12 disciples. No. No, well, you are well, right. Well, You're a good Aaron. Story, that's, you remember that from last um, year. But it's that's perfect. But what's the story today? It was today? 12 brothers. 12 brothers. Ah. There were 12 boys. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Aaron, why don't you start? You're the oldest. Put a card down and say which one it is. What's the number? It's a nine. So, Michael, many, if you have a three make or 12. a wild, it'll make 12. If not, you have to put a number lower. You have to either put a one or two. What did he put? Put a one. That's 10. So now you need two. You have Aaron, a one or a two, a two, Aaron? Another one. Okay. Now, Michael, you have another one. So Did you have a wild? No. So you didn't hit 12. You got to put them back together. You got to try again. You're here. Give them all to me. Oh. Guess how much I had? How much? 30 in total. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and remember, Joseph is what? Try to use your Joseph at the end, not in the beginning. You want to use it to, yeah, to, ma to make 12. So if you're close, you can make 12. 
Mm -hmm. There's a 2% Lori, even though you can't play this with us, maybe if you take your single deck of cards and mom or dad will play with you and you can do you can do this with them. Okay, Michael, you start this time. It won't be quite the same, but it'll give you an idea. You need a one or a two or a Joseph. Who put 10, Michael? Michael okay, one, two, or Joseph. Come on here. I don't know what it was. What you is have that any? One? What is it? Brothers. It's bad enough having and same no and same age. Oh. It's bad enough having five brothers, right? <laughs> yeah, they have enough siblings. Okay, Aaron, you start. Or for each of you have four brothers. Mm-hmm. But then you have five sisters. Mm-hmm. Let's okay, see. Five brothers let and four sisters. Aaron, you start. You, you won start. that one, you start. Put the first card down. First card in my hand. Uh-huh. No, like the first You don't card. have to put yeah. a 10. You can put any number down you want. What number you put? Six. Six. You need six. So if you six have a win. six. Plus four is 10. Do you have a two? Do you have a Aaron? two or a joker? Or one. A joker again. Okay. Aaron won a second game. I wasn't there when I had. We'll do one. You one. have both? Here. Two. Oh, both. wow. Wait, why don't we use those? Because it's only just for this. <laughs> what? Maybe this time you'll get Okay, two, one more game. Joseph. Let's see how Not we can Joker, do. Joseph. I'll come here. Wait, if you get a Joseph and you're first up, could you put it down for You it? can, well, but, but, the, but, that. but then the thing is, that doesn't get you to hit 12. We'll play one more okay. and then we'll have our clue. Aaron, discussion. you start. Oh, wait, no, Michael mm -hmm. starts. Hmm. Any number you want. What number, Michael? A nine, 10, 11, 12. You need a three or lower. Or what a Joseph. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Aaron, a three or a lower? Or the other. Or the Joseph. Look he at you. always gets the Joseph. <laughs> Did you have any, Michael? No. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, Come on, put this deck. Okay. okay that's here. it. Here. Okay, you can play that whenever you guys want. If you want to play sometime, oh, and if you okay. want to mix all three. Oh, crap. Okay. 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 Joseph that was, was given job. an important job by God. Do you know what that job was? Hmm. See if you can figure it out. What was the important job God gave Joseph? What did, were his brothers upset about because of his what? Success. Well, no, you're right. They were upset about the road. Success. But he was telling them something. His dreams. About his dreams. God gave Joseph the ability to interpret dreams. But Joseph didn't understand how it made people feel when he used, when he used it. How did he come across to his brothers? His brothers were jealous because um they were Joseph. almost you wonder was he gloating? Was he was he like look at me? Look yeah, at me. I'm so much better me. than all right. of you. Yeah. But God continued to work through Joseph. And this is where we leave off today, but the story is not finished yet. Next week, we're going to learn more about Joseph. Do you think in the end, his brothers are going to stay mad at him? They do. They sold him. They sold him to the slaves. Do you think they're going to, will they make up so, at any point? Wait, do you think? he sold them to the to us they, as a slave. Yeah, you said to a slave. Oh, no, as a slave. Yes, he sold them. He sold, The brothers sold Joseph as a slave. Do you think they'll ever meet up again? Do you no. think they'll make up? Actually, you, you not think? make up, but meet again. Okay, what do you think, Aaron? Yeah. 
You think they'll just meet up and not make up? I think they might make up. Well, you will wait and we'll see. It's a pretty neat story, so we'll yep. learn that next week. So why don't you bow your heads? We we'll say a prayer. And then we're done for the day. Again, Rory, we missed you today. Hopefully you can be here next week. I hope your mom's also feeling better. You want to pop it use the Okay, guys, don't please. Pay attention. Okay. Wait, just a moment. Okay, we're gonna have to put the toys down when we pray, guys. Okay? okay. Here we go. Okay, bow your heads. God, sometimes the people you called to do amazing things were kind of annoying. I suppose just maybe we can be kind of annoying sometimes too. What amazing things do you have in store for our service to you? Help us to be open to hearing and responding to the dreams you put in our heads. Amen. Amen. Now, remember, I have one thing I asked you guys to do for next week. And if you do it, any one of you, you get a point on your chart to try to find a picture of Joseph and his coat of many colors so that we can see how many different okay. pictures we can get. Okay? So if you can do that and bring that to show us next week that would be great <laughs> bye rory and i hope you get to watch this sometime this week bye bye, bye, Have bye, a good bye. Week. are we done